Hello and welcome to Beyond the Boundary. This is the 2015 season preview for the Collingwood Football Club. My name's Nick Dyson. I'm joined by Josh Ricard and Vinay Lakshman, as always. Now, boys, Dane Beams. He is the heart and soul just about of the Collingwood Football Club. He's been torn away from them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Pies fans aren't uh, happy with young Dane. Um, yeah. But I can understand his reasonings. Oh, uh, his reasons, there's no question about that. Yeah, the reason uh, he has to head up. I'm not sure that uh, why he didn't go to their best and fairest. Um, such a crucial player of that club for the last uh, few, well... Almost half a decade. Neither did Lumumba. Oh, no, he did go. Yeah, Lumumba did go. And he gave Lumumba a terrible speech, yes. <laughs> yes. But um, I'm not sure why Dane didn't go when he was in Melbourne at the time. But yeah, um, That's another story. That's another story. But there's some huge outs for them. Um, Nick Maxwell, Quinton Lynch, Luke Ball, Carl Martin, Ben Hudson, Dane Beams, Heritage Lumumba. Those are just the trades and retirements alone. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... All but Kyle Martin that you mentioned there. Yep. Um, there's a 1,135 games of experience. That's a huge change in the That is a huge, huge number. Um, to lose that much experience in one year, yep. it's certainly going to take a time in Collingwood and take that much. I'd wonder if GWs have that many on their entire list. <laughs> well, we're good for the light coming in. But yeah. Okay. Just, um, just. But there's also some high profile ins for the Collingwood uh, Football Club. Travis Varco, Jack Crisp, Levi Greenwood. You've also got Darcy Moore and Jordan DeGoey coming in. Yeah, absolutely. I, w- I want to ask you, being a uh, Geelong supporter, yep. what can Collingwood expect? Um, this is just off the cast, but I didn't warn you. Yeah, this, but, yep. uh, what can Collingwood expect from Travis Varco? Travis Varco, it depends where you're going to play him. Um, from half back, we've seen mixed results. Off the wing, we've seen mixed results. I think if they're playing, forward pocket. I think if they're playing in the forward pocket, um, that's where we've seen the best performances from him at Geelong. Yeah. Um, so it really depends what they want to do with him. I suspect they will still try and play him off a half back flank. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes there. Sort of an outside midfield role. Fair enough. The other yeah. one there I noticed is Levi Greenwood. Um, Definitely. And they've certainly thrown the money at Levi Greenwood uh, to come as... Um, I mean, come as a trade, sorry. He didn't come as a free agent. Yep. Come as a trade. Um, but they've certainly thrown the money at him. Now, Levi had a fantastic 2014, but he didn't do much after that. So they've put they've put a lot of uh, trust into Levi Greenwood too. Uh, so yeah. uh, fantastic 2013, fantastic 2014, fantastic 2014, not so much 2013. Okay, so, so I'm saying even before that, before, before that, yeah. before that. So 2014 has been his only really decent, consistent year. Yeah. So they've put a lot of trust into Levi Greenwood, thrown a lot of money at him to come to the club and deliver that same performance that he did in 2014. I think he can. I think, I he, think can. he can. Yeah. But whether he does is another story. I think if we see him come in and play that. The kind of performances he put up in 2014, that really softens the blow of Dane Beams leaving. Yeah, Obviously, he's not the calibre of player that Beams is, uh, but that really fills that role. The, the thing that Beams was was a goal-kicking mid. Correct. Yeah. Whereas Greenwood... is more an inside tackling inside kind of mid. mid. Yeah. 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 So, so that, that's, that's what they lose. But, but um, one, Jack Crisp, he's been sitting in the oven at Brisbane for quite a while, and he's yeah. nice and crisp, and he's come out, and he's gone to Collingwood. Yep. And he's a good player, mind you. He's just another one of those Brisbane players that didn't get a chance, but he's yeah. very good. Like, we saw it with Jared Pollock last year, and I dare say, boys, that we'll see it with Jack Crisp this year, I reckon he'll play quite well. He'll okay. play through the midfield. He's a big body midfielder. Yep. Um, he's got a big tank. Uh, his disposal needs a little bit of touching up, but other than that, um, he's, he's ready made for football. Darcy Moore, do we see him playing early? Yes. Yep. Yes. 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 Barring injury, um, it, I think definitely. We yes. know Collingwood went hard for Mitch Clark, so they're in the market for that big key forward. Yeah. Darcy Moore will fill that role. Well, Darcy can, uh, can play either back or forward. Yep. Um, a couple of times in the VFL last year where he, he did play a couple of games, he did play down back, he did play down forward. So. Yep. Um, but Darcy, a couple of months ago, just before Christmas, um, did have a bit of a toe injury. Right. I kept him out for three weeks. Um, but the, the one I'm really excited about is Dugowie. Um, Gooey. Dugowie. 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 Oh, it's Dugowie, yeah. Um, I think he's he, he'll play round one. He's ready, mate. He looks he's like a cement out. head. Yeah, he, does. Yeah. <laughs> he, he looks like a type of player that will just burrow in yeah. and not give yeah. a stuff about it. And there could else. be six or seven players stepping on his head, yeah. and he wouldn't feel a thing. He'd just yeah. get back up and kick it. And o- that, Ollie Wines. Ollie That's Wines. Yep, cement. That is a great line. Cement, I'm going to call him from now on. <laughs> cement head. Cement. No, just cement. Just, just cement. cement. Yeah. Another two players we're looking for big things from in 2015, Nathan Freeman and Tom Langdon. Tom no, Langdon uh, had a huge 2014, especially the yeah. first half of it. Nathan Freeman, we're yet to see anything from, but we're expecting big things, and he's a huge chance to play early. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Nathan Freeman is an exciting young player. Yep. Um, he did his hamstring against Geelong in that NAB Cup, and... Didn't see senior football again. Um, well, yeah, didn't see any senior football for the whole year. Yep. Um, and Tom Langdon, as you said, had a terrific first half of the year. Slide away a little bit in the second half, but to he's, be expected, he's still it was his he's first year. And I he's think the best 22 player. Yeah. That Colin, would, Colin would have had some bad luck with the early draft picks in recent years. Matty Scharenberg, yeah. yep. number five pick, and he did his ACL, Six I think. Wonder. 
Six, yeah, did his ACL and yeah. hasn't played. Didn't play all last year and probably won't play any of this year either. Well, he, he played in the VFL, got back, uh, okay. played in the VFL. I think it was the first game he played in the VFL. So he might play ACL, late so. or mid this year, depending yeah. on how rehab goes. Yeah. And you saw Darcy Moore struggle with a bit of injury early on, Nathan yeah. Frem as well. But I, as you mentioned, Nick, I would say he's an extremely big chance to play around one. Yep. Now, some players already in the best 22 really ready to take that best step, that next step, and join the top caliber, of, top caliber of players at the club. We'll get it out eventually. The greatest of all time. Brody Grundy, Damian Barrett's uh, mate there, um, Josh Thomas, Jared Witts, Jamie Elliott. Elliot, yeah. They're ready to break out. Well, Brody Grundy's first year, we were all raving about how good he's going to be. Yeah. Second Nick year, was raving about how good he was oh, Damian be. Barrett was raving about how good he was going to be. <laughs> Second year, we saw Jared Witts take over, and Brody fell oh. away. Spent some time in the VFL. Yep. Um, but that that happens with tall players. You see it with the key, key forwards. Tom Tom Hawkins is the perfect example. Yep. Um, so he, he'll be looking to uh, get that consistency again this year. One we haven't got here that I liken to Josh Thomas is Taylor Adams as well. Okay. With the likes of Dane Beams going out, Luke Ball, the two perfect replacements are Josh Thomas and Taylor, and Taylor Adams. Adams. Yep. So I can see both of them playing some regular senior football. What do we see from Jamie Allen? He's the high flyer at Collingwood. Ah, yes. He's an absolute crowd favourite. Well, he is a gun, an out and out gun, Jamie Elliott. I love watching him play. Yep. Uh, he's an extremely multi talented footballer, and he will see more midfield time this year. Uh, he's, his ambition is to play as a midfielder. In a recent interview, he said, I want to play as a midfielder. I want to take the next step up yep. and be more than just a small forward. I want to be the guy that can go into the midfield. Yep. And he, he will, he's training with the midfielders as well, I believe. And I think we can expect massive things from him. Well, I know it's only a number, but he's taken over the number five at Collingwood. And Collingwood people will tell you how, There's big much, that that number how means. much that number means at Collingwood. So um, the last two people to wear it, uh, his, current, his current coach and yeah. the most recent Premiership captain. So, Correct. Yeah, I know it's just a number, that, but there will be pressure. There's there. a lot of pressure. You don't just give that to any nobody to walk into the college. Exactly. To any <laughs> old uh, Ariel Steinberg to wear around. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're hearing that the two big key areas Collingwood need to improve are uh, improving efficiency and avoiding injuries in 2015. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are the two things that have really hurt them in the past couple of seasons. Well, one of them is a bit difficult, like avoiding injuries. Um, you know, all clubs have mechanisms they that, use. Well, to that's that's stay more of a injury. luck. That's sort of if, if yeah. we see that happen, we'll yeah. see improvement. Yeah. But efficiency is something they've really been. Oh yeah. But you, you look at you look at their injury list from last year. Most of them were soft tissue injuries. Yeah. That you can control. Yes, okay. you're right. Um, it's it's more the broken bones and stuff like that. That you can't, can't do it. The can't, concussions you can't control. Oh, it depends how John DeGoe goes on the train track. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But soft tissue injuries you can um, manage a little bit better. Yeah. But um, you, you're right. It, it does come with a bit of luck, a bit of bad luck. But, uh, but then having said that, I think the best players in the AFL are also the ones that manage to stay on the park most of the time. Yeah, Scott exactly Henry, right. Josh Kennedy, Joel Selwood, etc. Yeah. yeah. So what do we expect to see from Collingwood in 2015? Are we seeing an improvement? Are we seeing stagnating where they are on the ladder? Or are they going to decline? I honestly don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're a very hard team to pick. They're a very hard team to pick at this at this point in time because the amount of experience that they've lost yeah. is, is absolutely huge. You cannot underestimate the names that they've lost from this no. side because um, you, look, you look at the names that have come in. Jack Crisps is low 20s in age. Levi Greenwood's low 20s. 20, 23, 24. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Darcy Moore, Jordan DeGoey, all these young kids that have come in. Uh, you need experience around them. Um, and while Collingwood has still got some terrific uh, terrific players with experience, with over 100, 150 games of experience, yep. um, that's still uh, 1,135 games of experience is a lot. I want to ask you, Nick, does Travis Varco bring anything in terms of his experience? Would you say he's a leader? Because he's won premierships. I think he's won two premierships, yeah. So is he the kind of guy that will have a good influence, a winning influence on others? Or is he just a quiet, you know... I, I don't... I've never looked at Travis Vico as the man who's going to stand and shout and say, hey, lift your game. Yeah. I yeah. do see him bringing, you know, a, a winning atmosphere, mm. a winning attitude to the club. Okay. I don't see him as standing at the front of the pack and, and leading them from okay. there. But yeah. it certainly can't hurt to bring a player who's, who's experienced the highest success before yeah. into the club. Unfortunately yeah. for Collingwood fans who thrive on success, yeah. um, especially of recent years, where I think last year was the first time in eight years that they missed the final so yep. um, I think they'll just miss the eight again having said that the past mark we've set the bar a little bit higher than what we are I guess expecting personally expecting, yep. um, to make the eight um, <coughs> Collingwood fans as you said will be very unhappy if they don't reach that um, which they didn't reach last year I um, honestly don't think they will but that'll be their pass mark yep. make, yep. the eight. make the eight that concludes our Collingwood Football Club season preview for 2015 we hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time